Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with a pretty unique video for you today. I don't know how long this is going to be or if it's going to be a giant disaster because uh, I got a sword. That's why we're in a different spot. I can't do an unboxing on my desk. It's a big old sword. The box is uh, quite quite large and quite beat up, but uh, we'll see if that affects anything when we can get it open. Um, I know some of you guys complain, stop talking and just show the thing. Well, I have to explain this one, so sorry. I got it. Um, Metal Complex and I, go check out his channel if you haven't for some reason. Um, we got in a bit of a feud, a bit more than normal. It's all in, in good fun. But uh, yeah, I was on his show. And he uh, said something about buying each other swords. I said my wife would allow me to buy a sword. And he goes, well, but what if we bought each other swords? Then we could do sword videos. It would be great. This was all his idea, right? And then he just went out and bought one. Which, fine, whatever. He just went and bought himself one. We'd set a budget and everything. It was all set to go. It was his idea. And then he just welched on it and went and bought his own. And I wasn't going to say anything about it. And then on his live show, he decided to have a bunch of you message me and ask why I hadn't gotten a sword yet. Well, because it wasn't the deal. And I was mad. So on my live show, I bullied him into buying me a sword. So uh, <laughs> I said the only apology I would accept for going back on our agreement as if he bought me a sword. And he did, during the live show. Sent me the tracking and stuff during the live show. So uh, good on him for that. But I have no idea what this thing is. All I know is I bullied MC into buying it for me. And I know it was about 280 bucks. So I feel pretty good about that. I feel like I've already won, honestly. Well, we're going to do a bunch of challenge videos and stuff with him. It's going to be fun. I've been talking to... Uh, brainstorming with friends and stuff what I'm gonna cut I'm gonna have somebody throw hostess cupcakes at me cut them fruit ninja style an enemy because that's what you want so uh, opening it with the microtech trudon by the way the purple one gotta be careful there are staples on this box all I know is that it came from a place called I'm looking at the label down here California discount central online but I know he bought it from eBay so and I know it was 280 bucks, so I have no idea if it's good or not. I know nothing about swords. I used to. I did take sword fighting classes in college, so I am... Yeah, I went to such a terrible college that they did sword fighting classes. It's like an elective. Still more tape on this other side. It's a pull-apart box like roses. All right, let's get this sucker out. Oh, it's big. Ooh, it is not what I had in my... The image I had in my mind. I, it's a cold steel! It's a cold steel. Alright, I'm happy. California Discount Central Online. At least you have cold steels. I'm gonna put my naff. I'm getting there as fast as I can, people. Again, this is not uh, the easiest thing do because it is large I'm gonna have something to present to you here momentarily though I assure you now, wouldn't it be funny if I'm unboxing a sword and I managed to cut myself on the comparatively small OTF oh it's got the fancy scabbard I know what this one is holy crap this thing's got some heft to it <laughs> this is uh I thought he was. Give, I was expecting some kind of Japanese something or other, but it is not. This is like a, uh, a like a cutlass kind of thing. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of oil on it, though. I will say that. So we're gonna have to figure that out. This is gonna be messy, and I'm in my living room. Sorry, sorry, Lori. If I get the, if I get oil on anything, I'll, I'll try my best not to, or this sword may be turned against me. Like I said, she's already not a fan of me having one. There's a lot of... Wow, that is... Um, that's sharp. I can tell already. Almost cut myself through the plastic. <laughs> this is going to work excellently for our challenges. I learned, like, medieval sword fighting, so I'm kind of more familiar with, like, a broadsword or something like that, but, um... Oh, this is very oily and gross, but it is cool. My daughter's coming down the stairs. We'll see if she pops in and says anything, but... Oh, other than all the grease, that's all just grease. Holy crap. Yeah. 
<laughs> Good job, MC. I'm not going to complain about this. This is uh, this is pretty darn cool. I have nothing at hand to wipe all that grease off. I was not not expecting it. We're going to stop. I'm going to clean this sucker off, and we'll, I'll be back in just a mere moment. So here it is in all of its slightly less oily glory. It's still still pretty gross. It has a cold steel cutlass of some kind. I'll find out the name and put it uh, in the description below before I put this up. But uh, it is pretty freaking sharp, I will say that. It's this, It's a, not quite as sharp as some cold steel knives, but it's damn close. It's as sharp as a lot of production knives, but not as sharp as some of the cold steels. But it is pretty awesome. Nicely balanced. I do like the guard. The guard is still extremely oily, but... Uh, I like the guard a lot. Balance on it seems pretty good from what I remember, from the few things I know. Not too bad. I don't know how long it is or anything. All the stats and stuff will be in the description down below, but yeah. My sword is the best sword already because I bullied MC into buying it for me. So I know there are better swords out there, but wasn't, we weren't going to spend, you know, a thousand dollars on wearing. This is just two idiots swinging swords around, so uh, keep that in mind. But this thing is pretty cool. I'm quite impressed. I had a, like, hand-built one back when I was, like, 2021 and, um, 20 or 21, I mean. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't as nicely finished as this, I can tell you that, but, uh, awesome. So, you will, uh, You'll be seeing more about this. I don't know if I should put this tip down on the carpet, but I'm going to. Uh, so yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more of this stupid silly videos, us cutting, you know, melons, all the usual stuff, water bottles, all that stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna get somebody to throw cupcakes at me. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. So keep an eye out for that in the coming weeks, both here and on, uh, on MC's channel. So hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.